is going on? For God's sake, I have not seen you for the past five days now. So what's the problem? It's this time's paper, you know it. I have to submit by next week. I can't afford to feed Dr. Samson's course, you know. I know you can, but that does not mean you cannot even make out time to be with me. Yes, I, I agree with you, but you know my course is such such a hard one. I've got to read extra hard, you know, and it's kind of giving me some trouble, you know. That is not an excuse, Chris, and you know it. Huh? For the past one year, you've always had time for me. So why now? Or are you tired of the relationship? Oh, come on, Tina, you've got to understand. This is my final year, and I've got to make it. I understand you have to work hard, but but I need your attention too, okay? Huh? Are you seeing someone else? No. What do you mean? Why why did you say that? I've heard rumors that you're seeing someone else. I have warned you to stop listening to rumors, Tina. Come on. Huh? There's no one else but you. Then show it. Okay? Spend more time with me. I've missed you a lot. I promise. I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay? Um, why don't we spend this weekend together? I can give it to you. Come on. I promise. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. What's that? <laughs> oh, honestly. You're a rare breed. You turn me inside out. Would you stop flattering me? I'm sure you say that to some other girl. Oh, come on, but that's but that's the truth. Okay, have I told you? There's no one else but you. Alright, yeah, <laughs> good. Never go. <laughs> so this is the girl. So this is why you've been avoiding me, right? Um, so this is the ten paper you've been writing. Good. What's up? How you doing? You two timing double dealing idiots. How dare you? How dare you stand me up for this witch? Chris, who is she and what is going on? Hey, will you shut your trap, you idiots? Or do you want me to shut it up for you? Oh, Stina, stop overreacting. Come on, I was just coming from the library and I tend to stop over and then see you later in the room, okay? You liar. You lousy liar. Nick and all my friends have been saying you on this campus with this witch. Excuse me, do you mind? Stop calling me names because I don't even know who you are. Oh good, you don't know who I am. I am his girlfriend. So keep off from Chris. Oh Tina, stop creating a scene. Look, this is not the right place for this kind of show, you know. You should be ashamed of yourself, you chit. God! Excuse me, I have to go because I can't stand here and watch this nonentity insult me. Hey, 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 don't move an inch. You have woken up the lioness and it's there. So be prepared to face its consequences. I said keep off from Chris. This is a warning. So what did you do that for? I mean, what, what's the meaning of all this? Just said let me sit with her and then see you later in the room and it, it's just nothing. So what's your problem? Hey. Hold your explanations to yourself. I'm not keen for that now. You cheat. Nikki, come on, let's go.
me out. I'll see you. Bye. Love you, Love you, too. What are you doing here? I don't remember inviting you to my room. I don't need an invitation. Just the same way I did not invite you to mess around with my guy. Look, I don't know what your problem is. But if you have any problem, I think you should meet Chris. You are the problem. I am warning you for the very last time. Chris is mine. So stay away from him. <clears throat> then you have done a lousy job of keeping him because he never mentioned you. Listen, you baby girl. You want to eat what you can't chew. Oh, oh, you think you couldn't come here and rip where you did not sew? <sighs> Too bad, baby girl. That is impossible. What is impossible is the way you're behaving. I mean, why are you so desperate? Me? Yes. Desperate? Uh-huh. Don't you just, just take a look at you. You call me desperate? You try to snatch my old guy and you call me desperate? You are the desperate. See, I don't know what your name is and I don't care. If you don't have any other thing to say or do, please leave. Because I have things to do. Don't say I did not warn you. Stay away from Chris. Chris is mine. At least until I say otherwise. What if he wants somebody else? Have you thought about that? Obviously you haven't. If I can't have him, no one else will. Just stay away from Chris. He is mine. Did you hear me? Get out. Get out of my room now. Go out of my room. somewhere where we can talk. Do you know him? Mm -hmm. Do you know the guy you want to take somewhere is under my protection? Guy, I don't have any business with you. I want to talk to the girl. And what gives you the gods to walk into my cabin? I want to take a girl under my protection. Delete yourself. This Delete gives yourself. me the guts. Step aside. Let me talk to you. It's okay. I've handed you the Please. Please. Just, 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 just,
Sandra, hi. I've been looking for you everywhere. What for? To embarrass me again. Sandra, I don't know how to start. I betrayed our friendship and lied about you to Chris. I'm really very sorry. Please forgive me. Please. I didn't know what I was doing. But Wendy, how could you? How could you just see me with somebody and just conclude that we have something? I'm sorry. You know, I was I was really very upset about Chris's condition. You know, I, I was so upset that I didn't know what I was saying. I, I'm just sorry. Please, 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 just forgive me. Please. It's okay, but... Kenny is just my agent. He's my producer. There's nothing going on between us. But the problem now is how I'm going to explain to Chris that there's nothing going on between us. That's not a problem. Anna went to see Chris and explained everything to him. He needs to see you, Sandra. You know, he's, he feels so bad about what happened the other day in the hospital. Please go and see him. Please, he needs you. Please. Look, I'm really sorry. I know I'm the cause of all this. Please just go and see him. He really needs you. Please. Okay, I'll go and see him at the hospital tomorrow. Thank you so much. You guys really got me worried. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm confused. I didn't know what to do or say. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Alright. Let me walk you to your room. Painkillers. Please, you've had enough painkillers now, eh? Just, just try and relax, sorry, sorry. This pain is killing me. You can't exceed the normal dose. Just try, eh? Just try, sorry, sorry. Let's give you a try, sorry. Chris, what is it? Hasn't the doctor been here? The doctor said he's been receiving treatments. I don't know why, I don't know why. Why is this pain coming back now, eh? Doctor said it's a piece of bullets that still lodged inside. The pain keeps coming and going. When will the operation take place now? We can't let the bullets stay in here for for the facilities needed for the operation and not in this hospital. Chris has to be transferred. Why haven't they transferred him now? We have to see the doctor, when do you? Sandra. The hospital demanded for some deposits. I don't have money. I don't understand. Daddy has refused to bring out one cobble. He has refused to bring out any money for Chris treatments. Why? Is it not his son's life we're talking about here? Wendy. Wendy, please help me press Daddy, okay? He can't abandon me like this. Chris, I've, I've, I've tried. Chris, you know now, I've tried everything. But that said, despite his warnings that you still went ahead, so... Chris, that said he can't do anything. Wendy, we have to do something. We can't leave him here like this. We have to do something. So that's something like what? It's not because of you, my brother is lying down on his bed. Sandra, you are the cause of his problems. Wendy! 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 Oh, sorry. Don't worry, we'll find a way out, please. Oh, I hope so. Sorry. Oh, I hope so, Sandra. surgery to remove the pieces of lead lodged in his body as a result of the gunshot. You just sit down here crying? It's not going to solve the problem now. 
Huh? I'm being blamed for his situation. Accused like a criminal. So and for that you sit here all moody? I mean girlfriend, these things happen. Okay, it is not the first time this court guys attack their victim. It is not. And money needs to be raised. Money needs to be raised by all means and I don't know how. What about the parents? I mean Chris's parents. They, they won't help. They don't want to help as a punishment. Punishment? Punishment for what? They have concluded that he got shot as a result of his involvement in court activities. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Ah, this is not fair now. It's, it's not, not fair. fair. It's yes. not fair because I'm at the crossroads. I don't know what to do. It's I don't okay. know where to raise it's money okay. from. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. We have to think of something. I mean, you can't just be crying, crying all day. you want? They came to talk to you, Wendy. There's nothing to talk about, except you have a miracle that will heal my brother or the money for the surgery. I have none. Then leave us alone. Wendy, why are you so bitter? Why? It's not my fault that Chris is... Look, do you know that Chris is dying in the hospital all because of you? I'll forever remain thankful to Chris for what he did for me, but I also want you to know I that. want you to know that you have wrecked his life. Sandra, you've, you've, you've destroyed our family relationship. Look, my father now hates him. I'm in love with Chris, and he's the only man in my life. How can you stand here and talk to me about love? When Chris is dying in the hospital, you stand here and tell me about love? No, just, 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 just look at it. Look at it. I sold all my goods, everything I have, just, just, just to raise money. I wish, I wish there's something I could do to, to just help out. Look, I wish you could just vanish. You know, just, 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 just leave us alone. Wendy, I'm sorry for putting you and Chris through this. Please. Oh, just, just, just go, okay? Go. So what seems to be the problem now? <laughs> the situation has changed. And you must understand, you contracted us to hit Sandra. Uh -huh, yes, but, but you, you guys ended up shooting Chris. And that makes the situation worse. Good. I don't understand. So what are you guys talking about? Chris is a member of the Red Kings. God, I don't believe this. Save your breath and listen to the truth. Lives are now at stake. The Redskins will now plan for a hit back. But, but, but they can't uh, trace the hit to me. <laughs> Not as you think. If we had gotten the girl, no problems. But Chris, that is a different ball game. And now the picture is that we have shot a top member of the Redskins without justification. They must retaliate. And we are the target. And that includes you. And just in case, if you are thinking of revealing our identity to Chris and his group, you will die first. Now, listen and listen good. From now onwards, keep away from Chris. 
keep your mouth shut and your ears to the ground. There is war about to happen. Now get out. Get out. Out. And watch your step. cannot afford it for now. As such, we have to tax ourselves seriously. And I believe the amount is going to be too high on each car. It will take a whole session to collect such money. And you know how broke our guys are at the moment. Well, however, that is not the main issue. There is an issue of honor and prestige on board. The heat was carried out by the pythons. Oh, no, 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 it was just an accident. Chris, we know the entire story. No need for excuses. I wasn't the target, but it was sponsored by an ex-girlfriend to make sure either you or your new girl ends up dead. Courtesy of the pythons. How did you know that? We have our intelligence reports. And at this point, Chris, I thought you should know what is at stake. No, guys, nothing should be at stake at this because point. Because the news all around is that the Pythons have shot down one of our men to exert superiority. But, but you and I know that's not true. That is the picture the entire campus sees. And that picture, we must change it. Guys, there's no need for us to go this far, okay? It's a thing of pride. Chris. We have to go to when you learn. You know our rules, don't you, Chris? Guys, guys, she's, she's just a girl. That is the reason. You must die. No, 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 guys. No. No. She won't die. over the radio. They've been announcing it for the past two weeks. But what has this got to do with you anyway? What it has got to do with me is that I am entering for the contest. 
Okay. As the form suggests. Mm. But this show is meant for professionals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, Sandra. I know you love singing. I know singing is a hobby to you. But entering for a show that is meant for professionals, that I don't know of. I know the contest is for professionals. But it's just that I need the money. What money? What for? For Chris. For his surgery. Remember I'm being blamed for his situation. If only I could just come up with that money and surprise everybody. Sandra, what, what makes you think you will win? And what's giving you the confidence that you will win? I don't expect to win, but if I work very hard, if I work very hard, I could just emerge the third place or the fourth place. And prize money for such category is something at least. But I wish there was something I could do to help you, rather than watch you become so desperate. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. Well, I wish you'd walk the same. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God! Naya, supporting me. Yeah, what can I do? Ladies and gentlemen, you're all welcome to open medical style search. Back into the young summer, near me like a did before.
Sandra, that was a wonderful performance you had out there. Thank you. No. Thank you very much. Yeah. I know you must be on your way home right now. Let me take you home. Um, my friend and I will take the taxi. Come on, not after such a wonderful performance. Mm -hmm. Let me take you home. Thank you very much for the compliments, but like I said, my friend and I will take the taxi. You get to have more of the compliments when you get to know who I am and what I've got for you. It all depends on if I'm interested in who you are and what you have in store for me. Oh well, my name is Kenny, Kenny Edmund, the Africa representative of a recording label based in US. So, maybe along the way, Guess what? I have a surprise for you. Let me show you. Ta-da! Money for your operation. Is this what he gave you last night? Chris! What are you talking about? Tell me, Sandra. How, how many times did this swing you to make him pay you this much? Chris, are you out of your mind? No! You are the one that's out of your mind. Just, just look at me, Sandra. I'm dying here just because of the bullet I took for you. My parents, my parents have, they have abandoned and... God. All because of you? And what do you do? Sleep around. Chris, who is lying to you? I did not sleep with anybody. No, you're the one lying to me. I mean, where were you all through yesterday? I went, I was, I was, I was, I was at a show with a friend. And you met a guy with an exotic car who took your breath away, dropped you at your hostel, kissing and hugging you? Chris, whoever told you all this told you lies. And that depends on who did the talking. Sandra, oh. I'm surprised your new boyfriend gave you so much time for my brother. Wendy, how, how could you? Get out. You heard him get out. Please, just, just get the hell out. Go, 
Slot friend could think of is messing around with money bags in town. What money bag are you talking about? Because I was with Sandra all through and I can't remember seeing her with any money bag. That's because you didn't look the right way. Chris, has somebody been telling you stories about Sandra? Oh, stop coming for her. Because my sister saw the man that dropped the boat of you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Great. Is, is it Kenny you're talking about? I haven't asked you for any names, okay? Oh, if you dear. don't mind. Kenny is the African representative of one record label in the United States and is here in Nigeria to discover talent for them. Ah. What are you talking about? Sandra performed at the show. She, she did what? She performed at the show. And I mean, her performance was so extraordinary that it attracted Kenny's attention. I mean, he was so moved that he persuaded her to enter into this music contract with him as her producer. You mean he really wants to produce her? Of course. But that is if she will agree. Oh my God. What have I done? Whoever has been telling you all this about Sandra probably did not get her facts straight. Um, Anne, please, I'll need you to do me a favor, okay? I'll need you to bring Sandra here for me. Please, I, I just need to talk to her, okay? I need to see her. Well, I'll see what I can do. Eat your food. Eat something now. Do you want? I came to see you. See me for what? Can't I see you at least? Huh? You. I heard about the incident, you know. I, I would have come earlier, but I tried. You. You're too busy planning to hit Iron Sandra, right? You deny you. Chris, I swear to God, I, I don't have a hand in it. I don't even have the knowledge of whoever shot you. Okay, Chris, you must believe me. Don't tell me what to believe. Chris, boy, you know me, okay? You know deep in your heart that I will never do anything to hurt you. Huh? The news flying around are all rumors. They're not true. So if your hands are clean and your conscience is clear, then you have nothing to fear. What's in I bet this time you've gone too far. to help me, okay? Sorry. You have to help me. My stay in campus is at my own risk, please. You just have to help me. Help you. Look, I will have been six feet on that by now. And you ask me to help you. Help you to do what? Tell me. Chris, they are after me, okay? They are even giving me the impression that you will harm me. That was why I came to beg. Because I'm so sorry if I've done anything wrong. Please, just forgive me, okay? Okay, please. Honestly, if I were you, I would leave campus. Till everything goes down. But exams are fast approaching now. I, I, can't, I can't just leave campus like that. It's a warning. It's not an advice. All right, okay. But have you forgiven me? Please, my mind cannot be at rest if you don't forgive me. Okay, okay, I, I forgive you. Is this what 
you called me to see. to see our family friend that is in us. Liar! You are a great liar! You want to see Chris? No, Chris. Hey, I didn't even have the slightest idea that he was even in Shut up and stop lying! I'm not lying now. I'm not lying. I'm telling you people the truth. I swear to God, I'm not lying. I'm telling you people the truth. I only went there to see our family friend. This girl is a potential risk and cannot be trusted. Seriously, you people should trust me. I, 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 didn't, I didn't go there to see Chris. What did you discuss with Chris? Nothing now, nothing. I'm telling you people the truth. I didn't go there to see What do you take us for? I... Eh? You think we are playing games? Eh? <laughs> Will you get up? I didn't, I didn't go there to see anybody. I didn't see Chris. I think you better start telling us the truth now. <laughs> Let me just say the truth. I'm just, I'm just saying the truth. I only went there to plead with him. Hey! You want to do what? Oh my God! I only went there to, to, to explain to him that, uh, that I didn't have a hand in his being shot. I told him in the first place that Chris is suspecting you. And how are we sure that's the only thing you told him? Seriously, I swear to God. I swear to my heavenly father that's the only thing I told him. That's you always swear! And no one knows when you are telling the truth. I'm not I swear to God. Oh. You better tell me the truth now. Before I cut you to pieces. Please don't use it on me. Oh. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you people the truth now. I'm telling you this. Oh. Hello, Chris. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, well, Wendy. Thank God you are here. I have a big problem. Ah, uh, what kind of problem? You were wrong about Sandra. Impossible. Sandra, what are you talking about? Sandra, I saw her with my two eyes. Oh, no, Wendy, the man you saw her with is a music uh, producer. Mm. He wants to sign her on. And who told you that? Anna was at the show with her. When Sandra won the contest, she brought the prize money for my surgery. That money. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm mistaken. Look, Wendy. I need you to talk to her for me. I mean, when she came back, Tina was here too. It's a lie. What? Honestly, I, I, I need you to talk to her. Woman to woman. I believe she'll listen to you. Chris, no. Eh? Look, it's not work now. After what happened that day. No, come on, Wendy. It will work. Just pester her a little. Just beg her. I mean, just tell her it was your fault. It will work. Please. Come on now. Eh? You can do this for a bro now. Come on.
I know how you feel. No, you don't know how I feel. I betrayed you. I mean, I betrayed every feeling and respect and regard you have for me. Sorry, Sandra. Thank God, you know. Chris, do you think I like, you know, the way you're lying down here in this hospital? I had to perform publicly so I can raise money for your surgery. But what did you do? You and your sister took, took me for something else. It's okay, Sandra, please. Honestly, I regret every of my actions. But you did not forget to bring Tina here. See. See. Tina came here to plead with me. And she, she was just pestering me. She was begging me for forgiveness. And then she demanded for a hug. It was just at that point that you walked in, honestly. I'm so sorry, Sandra. I didn't mean anything with it, honestly. Like I said before, what I do, I do for love. Where are you going? Uh, 
have a performance at the club tonight. Performance? Tonight at the club? Yes. Um, what? what? What are you talking about? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Kenny, my producer, booked a show for me and they're paying well. Can this show be shifted for some other night? I mean, I need to be with you. I wish it could, but the shows for now are training grounds for me. Taking this music thing far too seriously. I mean, I thought it was just a hobby. I want you to stay for the night. I don't want to be alone. I wish I could, but we have many more nights to spend together. Okay, why don't you come with me to the club tonight and watch me perform? I wish I could. But you know I'm not strong enough to stay awake all night. Alright then, maybe some more time. Hmm? Don't worry. Okay, I promise I'll sing you a special song tonight. Hmm? I will be waiting for me in my room to take me. Oh, Kenny. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Hmm? I'll be fine. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to dedicate this song to somebody very dear to my heart, a very special person. And uh, talking about guests, I would like you to meet somebody. Chief Odifa. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my pretty and young talented lady. You really treat me out there just like a Diana Ross. <laughs> Chief Odifa here co owns this club. He is an oil shipper in Magnet and also a generous uh, financier. Nice to meet you, sir. This is my pleasure. I have something important for you, something special for you. Sandra, um, you have to get excuse me. Let me go get the car ready so we can leave, right? Okay. Chief, I'll be back in a minute. All right. Um, Sandra. This is for you. Thank you. This is really beautiful. Not as beautiful as you are. Um, Sandra, you retreat me tonight, and I want to treat you in my own special way. I have a plane going to Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Come with me. Let us paint Abuja red. Let me spoil you a little. 
I would have loved to, but sir... Hey, come on. Cut off that, sir. My name is Emmanuel. Son, do see any time spent with me will not be a waste. Money will not be the problem. Actually, sir, I'm not selling anything. 100,000 naira for a weekend. Just a weekend. All right, all right, don't talk too much. 200,000 naira. It's very obvious that's... Ah, come on, Sandra. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I give you 500,000 naira. A weekend in Abuja, another at in London. The choice is yours. Like I said, sir, it's obvious you're misunderstanding me. I am not that kind of person. One million naira for a weekend. One million naira. I am, but I won't take long. And I... And what? We have a date, remember? Who says that date is not going to hold? When you are already dressed to go elsewhere. I'm just going to see an entertainment lawyer with Kenny, my producer. He wants us to see a draft of the contract. Didn't you know about this before you, you, you agreed to my date? Of course I did, but it won't take long. I would just spend like 30 minutes there, and I'll come back to your place and we'll leave. So I should wait for you at my place. Yes, or you can wait here. At exactly 2.30, I'll be back and we'll leave. Are you sure about that? Definitely. I can't miss a date for anything. Hmm? Ciao. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait here. All right. Hmm? Oh, that's Kenny. See, I'm my producer. So I'll see you later then. See you later. Okay. Hmm? Right there. Take care. Miss Sandra, I'll put on the contact form and here you are. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to go through them before signing. Oh, feel very free. You can take your time, girl. You can go home with it. Gentlemen. Oh, Mr. Hey, Edmund. Mr. Edmund. Mr. Edmund. Hey. How you doing, man? Kenny. Hello, good. Our new singer. <laughs> no. Well done. Um, right. Kenny, I've been looking over for you. Really? Yes. So what's going on? Um, the first lady will be entertaining the South African ambassador with other members of the diplomatic corps. That's interesting. So, how does that concern us? The lady herself wants Sandra to perform for her guests. Really? Yeah. Man, that's good news, you know. <laughs> Come on, man, look. When is this engagement? Right now. What? Now? now? Just now. Sandra, what do you think? It's not possible. I have other engagements. I know. But we are talking state house here. I mean connection that open doors. Sandra, I think we need this. The invitation is too short. It's too sudden. I know, yes. I know. Her Excellency understands. And she'll be indebted to you if you come. I'm not even properly dressed. It's too sudden. Just don't worry. Don't worry. It's highly rewarding. Okay, okay, now listen. Just one song. 
I mean one song, you're off. Please, one song. Just say yes, please. I'm begging you, one song. Hello? Hello? Yes. What do you want? I'm looking for the lady that stays here. Uh, the singer, Sandra. Are you her brother? I beg your pardon? You haven't told me what you want and who you are. Oh, well, I am Chief Dr. Emmanuel Odife. I am sure this is Sandra's off-campus uh, residence. I ask once again, are you her brother? Listen, Chief, the fact that I'm in Sandra's room in her absence should suggest to you that I'm someone special to her and someone close to her. Any message anyway? Oh, yes. But something I would like to deliver to her personally for such an excellent performance at the club the other night. Oh, yes. Just a pity would never last. Why? How do you mean it will last? Because we have our plans. Can't you understand? Now, Chief, now that you know Sandra is not in, I think it's time for you to use that door. Go and don't ever let me see your face in this room again. I'm serious at that. <laughs> anyway, get my message across to her. Tell Sandra that Chief Odife, the man she met at the club the other night, called. behind the science lab. What will he be doing there? Uh, he always reads there because, you know, it's empty and quiet. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Let me go there right away. Right, I'll, I'll see you later. Later. Yeah. Bye. Second best, right? No, for heaven's sake. Then tell me. Did I ever mean anything to you? Of course, Chris. You still mean a lot to me. I don't think so. As far as I'm concerned, satisfying your new manager and this your new senior career has taken precedence of our relationship. Chris, truly, I put you and our relationship above every other thing. Again, where were you throughout the rest of yesterday? You asked me to stay home, and I stayed. In fact, I slept off, and it was your friend, um, Anne, that came and woke me up. Man, I felt, felt so... I, I didn't plan it. I had to attend a function organized by the First Lady. I had a function to attend too, Sandra, and it's with you. Don't spend time together anymore. I love you. I love you. With my heart. Has ever caught you? I miss you. I need so. I promise. I promise it will never happen again. 
I promise never to compromise a relationship for anything. To me. Oh yes, he means nothing to you. Yet he dropped you off and handed you his card. He just gave me a lift because he has seen me perform at the club. Oh yes, just like that old hack. What was that frog's name? Um, um Chief Odife, right? He came here looking for you. Odife. Chief Odife came here looking for me. Don't you ask me that stupid question again. Weren't you the one that, that gave him your address? I did not give him the address and I don't know how he got it. Oh yes, just like that one that just dropped you off and handed you a card. I had to take it for God's sake. Chris, I'm gradually becoming a professional singer and people always flock around me just to do one favor or the other. That's the problem. That's just the problem, okay? Too many strangers flocking around you lately and I don't like it. Look, Sandra, I don't like it. Chris, you're being very unreasonable. I'm not having any affair or dating any of them. I don't want them around you. Can't you understand? Show them whichever way you like, however you want, just do it. I don't want to see you or see them around you, okay? Just let them mind their business, anyhow you want it, okay? This is their card, feel it, okay? You just make me shout. Chris! you find me? Your roommate Anna told me you were here. Please, Sandra, it's very important. We, You need to go out with me right now. What is important? Um, sorry, I... Uh, uh, Mr. Kenny, perhaps some other time. Sandra and I have a, a date now, okay? A date? But this is far more important that, than, than just me going out. Excuse me? I have a date with my girlfriend and you think it's not important? I mean, who the hell do you think you are? Um, Chris, please, take it easy, okay? I'll handle this. Can you? Yeah, look, Sandra, an executive producer just flew in from New York on his way to South Africa. 
And he wants to observe you briefly at the studio station now before his flight takes up tonight. And I said no. Your executive producer or whoever he is could wait for some other time. Hey, come on, young man. This is Harriet's future and career we're talking about. Here. And this is my business and privacy you're invading here. Sandra, come here. Look, Sandra, don't tell me you're going to turn down this opportunity. This is important for both of us. Sandra! Sandra. Sandra, think about this. Your career, your future. Kenny, I'm sorry. I have a date with my boyfriend. Come on, Sandra, for playing that loud! Well, well, you just heard the young girl, okay? If you don't mind, please. Use the door. Look, Sandra, I can't believe you are doing this. Kenny, I'm sorry. Excuse us, please. God damn it. Are you ready now? I'm ready. Let's go. Like the stars, like the stars, you keep shining. You're gonna keep on shining. I'm the light of your love will not fade away. Children. Are you Sandra? You performed at the club uh, some time ago? Oh, yes, that's me. You see, you are very, uh, very good, talented, and gifted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Believe me, I know good music. I'm a gifted uh, artist when I see and hear one. <laughs> you are very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Excuse me, Mister. Is there any problem? I beg your pardon. Um, Chris, I was just trying to... A man to... can answer for himself. Is there any problem? Of course not. I'm just uh, meeting her. Have you said hello? Yes, I have. I have. Then it's time to say goodbye. Excuse me. That was not necessary. To me, it was. I mean, have you seen me going around table to table chatting up other people's girlfriends? You're crying out loud, Chris. Are you this jealous? Me? Jealous? Spare me. I think you're being a bit overbearing. Watch your words, Sandra. Chris, look. I am a singer, right? And the fact that male fans come around me to say hello does not mean I'm dating them. Why does it keep happening each time I turn my back? Why? Why? Why, Why are we even having this argument? I'm not arguing. You're the one misunderstanding my motives. Um, Chris, I think I have a headache and I need to go home now. I said I want to go home now. Sorry. No, you're not. You do this all the time. What, what is wrong with you? I'm really sorry. I love you so much that I guess scared 
each time I see any of those strangers coming around you, I feel I'll someday lose you to them. I'm really sorry. One minute you sound like a crazy guy and the next minute you sound like an angel. How do you do it? I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, okay? Please. Yeah, sorry. I almost lost my appetite. In fact, I lost my appetite. Well, but if you can regain it with the sorrow, as I said, okay? No, no, no. Let me do it first, okay? Ah, Nikki, Nikki, what's up? Ah, Sina, where are you? My dear, oh, I did a while ago. You know, I usually come to school from my auntie's place in town. Hey. Your classmate have been asking me of your whereabouts. And they said you've missed some two texts and assignments. Eh? How come? But I gave some people uh, money to, to do the tests and assignments for me before I left. So, who are you? Anyway, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll sort that out, don't worry. It's a good thing you're back. Yeah. Exams are already here. Eh? Exams? Hey. Um, anyway, so what's been happening in school now? What's up? I hope all those uh, cult guys, they don't really give problems again. I thought you said you do come to school from town. I mean, you should know. My dear, you know, I usually come now, but you know I leave very, very early, so I don't really know what goes on. So, anyway, don't worry. Yeah, my sister, eh? there was a shootout last week. Are you serious? I'm telling you, three people died. Hey! God! Do you know the people that died? Well, how should I know? I don't have anything to do with anyone in court. I'm off to class, oh. Mm. Okay now, eh? Have okay. your bad luck. Okay. I hope you have your key with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, don't worry, I'll see you in class. Okay. okay. Hey, God. Hey, it was a shootout. Hey, God. I involve myself into this. Why? God, I wouldn't even go to these people in the first place. Why did I go to them in the first place? Eh? Hey! God, God, just look at me. Just look at me. I've missed my assignments, I've missed my tests, everything. My exams, I've not even, I've not even read anything for my exams, so. Hey, God. Tina, ah, what is it? Oh my god. Nikki, why did you do this now? Why did you do sorry, this? Sorry, sorry, I forgot yeah. my book. I just came to pick it up. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> Honestly, I don't see it as much of a problem. When you have it wrong there, it is very much a problem, man. Yeah? I mean, I have seen artists, talented artists, going down the drain just because their boyfriends or their girlfriends control them. Are you saying Sandra's boyfriend is becoming a bad influence on her? He is already. Can't you see that? I mean, Sandra is hardly available these days. She's not available for, 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 for rehearsals any longer. Huh? Just because of what? Just because she's got a date with a boyfriend. Hmm. He's a bad influence, all right. And I am assuring you, I am going to remedy that situation once and for all. Tell me, how are you going to do just that? Now, prepare the final contract. I am taking Sandra to the United States immediately. Now, let me see how that boyfriend of hers is going to control her there from here. Well then, 
I'll see what I can do about that. transportation, my upkeep and the completion of my degree in the United States. Exactly. And uh, we are leaving end of this month. Oh, so I do want you to get your passport. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go home right away and I'll get my passport. Good. Now get your passport, bring it to the office. Alright? I will and I'll also be coming with Chris's passport. You don't expect me to leave him behind, do you? Look, Sandra, you have to. We can't cater for him as well. Don't worry. I will cater for him. I will do that from my contract fee. Look, Sandra, this guy is going to be a distraction to you. You don't need him out there in the United States, man. You don't need him. Your career comes first. You can't think about it. What is my career without the man I love by my side? Come on, you can always make up. You can always make up for lost times whenever you are home on a visit. Come on, Sandra. If Chris doesn't come with me, I'm afraid I won't go anywhere. Can't. Ah, uh, well, um, you take your time, all right? Take your time, think it over. I'll be waiting at the office. My music career takes me, there you'll be. Listen, your producer needs you to be alone. I mean, so you can concentrate. Concentrate on what, Chris? How can I concentrate when you're not there by my side? Look, I'll be all right, Sandra. Besides, you always be home on holidays and we'll always be together. I do not have to rely on any holiday just to be with you. It's either you come with me or I don't go anywhere. You mean, you're going to back out of the contract if they refuse you taking me along? When you come with me to the lawyer's office, then you will find out. No, Sandra. Don't lose this opportunity. Chris, are you coming with me to the lawyer's office or not? Chris, I said, are you coming with me or not? Sandra, have you finished going through the contract? Yes, I have. Okay. And I bought the passport. These are two passports. Only one passport is required, you know. Kenny, I already told you. If Chris does not come with me, I will not go anywhere. Did you hear that? Sandra, this is serious business we're talking about here. A career. Sandra, I know sometimes these decisions are hard to make as it affects family ties and relationships. But then it has to be made, Sandra. Just like Chris decided when he risked his life for me. And that is why I love him so much more. And will not leave him behind. Career or no career, contract or no contract. Look, Sandra. I want you to think about this thing very well. You can't serve two masters at a time. This is not a game. The love I have for Chris is not a game either. Sandra, do you know what you are really giving up here? Do you? Sandra, are you sure you know what you're doing?
TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.